uh, if she's not part of the nothing ass bitch consciousness, that won't phase her. She'll require more from you. You know, more than just, I can buy you a Chanel bag. I got the T acrylic fingernails. I can buy you a nose. And she'll require more from you. That won't, you know, like, my nigga, I'm trying to be her right here. Like, that's all you got to offer? Because a, a, a nothing ass bitch wants material things. A real woman requires knowledge. She wants you to give her something that she can eat on forever. That that, that purse gonna wear and tear. That car gonna run hot. That hair gonna fall off. A real woman wants knowledge from she wants you to build her up. If you give her words that she can use for the rest of her life, a nigga can buy her bags and, and all that. Man, she'll come to you if, like it just because I, I need you to move forward in life. I just need you to look good on Instagram. And if she's good with looking good on Instagram, that lets you know she's of the nothing ass bitch consciousness. I'm trying to tell you something. Seiko, fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is, as you can see, Lil Yo Jr. has on his glasses. He's trying to see the same way I'm trying to see. I need to do them. I, I wish I could do them fucking videos, but I keep this shit keep dropping off. Like there's too much shit going on. Um. Make sure you get your Are You Serious t-shirts. Uh, you know the 15th is coming up. Today is the 12th. Or oh, actually, when you watching this, it's going to be the 13th. Um, and fucking, damn, this shit crazy as fuck. Media compos are coming tomorrow, dog. Ain't they, yeah, they supposed to come tomorrow. From 8 to 12, I'm going to be sleep like a motherfucker. Motherfucker going to come knocking on the door and shit. Call my damn phone, man, waking me the fuck up. But I gotta get this fucking phone fixed. This is bullshit. The fucking phone don't work, dog. Y'all know y'all supposed to be calling in on fucking the 15th and shit like that. But some kind of way the fucking phone don't work. Good fucking thing that this hoe wasn't no disrespectful bitch. This is an Indian hoe. That hoe ain't have no motherfucking attitude when she got on the phone. But I would have put that goddamn shit out. I don't be meaning to fucking, you know what I'm saying, snap on hoes. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't dang what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I, I be on and shit like that. But damn, they coming tomorrow, dog. It's 12 o'clock. It's midnight now. From 8 to 12. They need to tell you what time the fuck they coming. So I can set an alarm. But you want me to be up... At 8 o'clock and just sit up this motherfucker waiting and shit like that. But he pulls a call 15 minutes before he come. But I don't, man, I, I sleep hard than a motherfucker. No, I really, I, I really be hearing the phone though, for real. Yeah, I think I'll be straight. But damn, I forgot all about that. That's why I, I ain't even you. This fucking, this January calendar, man. Damn. All right, also, make sure y'all sign the Me and Two goddamn, um, Me and Two fucking petition on change.org. Um, obviously, in August, I'm trying to go to Capitol Hill in August. So we got six months. That's when I get off probation and shit like that. And that's when I'm, that's when the day I get off probation, that's the day. But goddamn, I gotta pay that goddamn fucking probation fee until you pay that shit you ain't off that shit I'm gonna have to go and pay that shit dog I'm, I'm getting out this motherfucker dog they done had me trapped in Alabama for damn you know what I'm saying I don't know how fucking long dog I don't know when the last time I left the fucking state you know what I'm saying so so I'm out this bitch in August I don't give a fuck what it's called dog I'm out this bitch in August um but yes y'all know what the fuck going on dog I'm just trying to get my shit together dog for the day 
I'm not cutting this shit out. You know what I'm saying? This shit is real shit. You need to understand what the fuck going on. For y'all motherfuckers that just come with the, you know what I'm saying, the hoopla and shit like that. And they got shit going on. Retarded. Um, um, also, hey, make sure you listen to my dog, Scrap Navage. I know you done heard this shit at the beginning. You heard his music, you know what I'm saying? You done seen the fly and shit like that. Dog, listen to this man catalog. He got the SoundCloud and the Instagram and shit like that. But listen to this new single this nigga got going on. It's called Rise Above. Like, if you, dog, I'm looking at music like it's food. Like, if you continue putting that McDonald's bullshit, Burger King bullshit, like, for months and months, you just on the run, just eating that bullshit, like, that's why you feel fucked up. But if you were to put fruits and, you know what I'm saying, the shit you supposed to eat, like, maybe some chicken and vegetables and shit like that, you would feel better. If you don't give it a try, though, you'll never know. Because a lot of folks, as soon as you say that shit, like, oh, fuck that shit. But if you try the shit, you would, you know what I'm saying, you would understand what I'm talking about. But it's the same thing with music. Like, dog, when I'm on some real shit, like, when I'm stressed out and so much shit going on, I got this and this, dog, I really turn on gospel music, on some other shit, just just for the, the vibration and the shit, whatever. But as far as, like, rap shit, this is what the fuck we need to listen to. A nigga's actually saying something, let this shit get stuck in your head. And a nigga can actually spit. Like, listen to this shit, dog. Just listen to Scrap Navarge. You can hit his Instagram, Snapchat, and all this shit. Snapchat. I keep saying Snapchat. And the SoundCloud and shit like that. Fuck with my dog. And also, all you artists and shit like that, dog, start fuck. I, it's a lot of y'all in the comment section. Dog, start talking to each other. Like, see what this man got? You see what he got. Start doing work with each other. Like, that's how you, you know what I'm saying, get your shit going. Like, talk, man. But look, let's go ahead and get into this shit. Um, sign the man to shit, you know what I'm saying? Get your motherfucking t-shirts. Also, on the uh, 15th, for the people. Listen, god damn it, I forgot about that shit too. Listen, dog. when you send your fucking money to be on the screen and shit like that, you got to say something, dog. I get donations in every fuck, you know, every fucking cash, if it's a fucking app, if it's a way that motherfuckers can give money, they give it, dog. So you can't just... Give fifty dollars and not say shit, whatever like that. Fifty dollars be coming in all kind of. I don't know who the fuck is who. You gotta say something, dog. I don't know what's going on. It's ten slots, and I don't know how. I don't know who the. I don't know what's going on. If you didn't pay the fifty dollars and you want to be on the show, you gotta say that shit, man. I think it's three slots left. You know what I'm saying? To uh, if you wanna um, if you're trying to get on the show. I think it's three, uh, three slots that you want to get on the show on the 15th, 6 p.m. Y'all have a commercial for that shit in a second. But, um, dog, get your shit together, man. Y'all not finna run me crazy. Um, but, yes, uh, Soldier Boy has been trapped by Black China. Am I mad at Black China? But at this point, no. Nah, like, she catching who she catching. You can tell. And it says something. Me and DJ, uh, y'all just met DJ. I'm glad y'all met him. Um, as I told y'all before, you know what I'm saying? These are the type of people I try to surround myself with. If you're not coming with um, that type of energy to where I can just sit back and be a student, then I'm not really, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't surround myself with people that I can talk down to. I would like to surround myself with people that I can gain, you know what I'm saying, intelligence from. Um, and that's what, and a lot of people ask me, you know, like, what, what books do you read? What do I need to start on to get, you know what I'm saying, on this path? And it's like, I think that's the first thing. Seek out people that are smarter than you. You know what I'm saying? That know more, I, like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, that much about, you know, black history. I don't know that much about anything for real like that. I can learn about anything. You know what I'm saying? And if you know enough, like, if you know about this shit, I'll listen. Yo, fuck, if you... You know what I'm saying? Breed cats or fucking whale for a living. I will listen. If you know what I'm saying, know something about anything, I'll definitely listen and shit like that. So, um, but as DJ would say, you know what I'm saying, um, he was speaking about this with, it, it, I, this was a very good conversation and I should have put this shit out. Uh, and y'all will be getting a lot more conversations from DJ and shit. But, um, the Joe Button Offset. bullshit um to where why are we putting a ring 
on fun girls fingers. You understand? Like, say what you want about seeing whatever like that. Say what you want about Cardi B. These are stripper reality TV hoes. You know what I'm saying? If that's what we're what message are we sending to the black women? If those bitches can get rings, what are we saying to the black women? You know what I'm saying? What we're saying is it don't matter what the fuck you do. There is no fucking standard. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Nobody's going to hold it against you. Kim Kardashian. You know what I'm saying? It's no different. This is... Black China is definitely on a, a lower level, but it's the same shit. Our woman... Look at the shit that Kanye West has to go through. You know what I'm saying? Look at the West that Joe Button's going through. Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? When you get an industry bitch, this is what you get. This is what comes with it. But even more than an industry bitch, a... I have to say a nothing ass bitch because you used your body to get your position. It wasn't what was in your mind. Understand what I'm telling you. You used your body, not your mind. You know, you used, you know, some, you know, cunning and, and fuck, uh, fuck a nigga over type tactics and shit like that, but you used your body. It was your body that got you to the place that you're at, not your mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that to say that your counterpart, your male counterpart, actually had to use his brain. You know what I'm saying? To get where he was, he couldn't use... It wasn't a physical attribute that he can use. He had to think his way into his position. And it's like, if I had to think my way into success, why in the fuck am I fucking with somebody? You know what I'm saying? On, I should be fucking with a bitch that wears a suit, a classy. Um, say what you want about Meghan Markle. You know what I'm saying? That type of hoe. Um, uh, Michelle Obama. You know what I'm saying? A classy wife. I have fun at the strip club with this girl right here, but I don't bring her home. You understand? It's the same dynamic here. And what I'm doing also with this video is I want to show you the difference between lame niggas and niggas who, you know what I'm saying? This is where, you know, being a street nigga. And I I, I, I use that word really. In this, in this situation, when I say street nigga, I mean a nigga that's live. I mean a nigga that, that's not lame. You know what I'm saying? A lame nigga gets done like Soldier Boy, Kid Blue. Everybody that, every every dude, listen to me. Since Black China's inception into this game, um, let me tell you what Inception is. Uh, inception would be Kim Kardashian blasting on the scene with the Ray J sex tape. You understand? That was her inception. She has arrived when that tape came out. It didn't diminish her career. It actually, and we should have known that we're in a troubling time right then. You know what I'm saying? At that point right there, we should have known. And not even at that point. We should know it was at a troubling time when a nigga, after that tape came out, still fucked with her publicly. If that's, we should have looked at her the same way we look at Pinky, Roxy Reynolds, uh, Cherokee, so on and so forth. This is a porn bitch. I'll fuck with her. No, it's lethal lips. I'll fuck with her on the back end, but I'm not marrying lethal lips. I'm not marrying Roxy Reynolds. I give a fuck what, where her mind at. I don't give a fuck about none of that. This hoe has been seen by the world. This is not no... I, I can't bring this motherfucker back to my mom. I can't bring her back to the house. As soon as... It was okay to not only be seen with her publicly, but to date her. She's on my arm. This is my girl. How is this, like, how is this your girl? Lauren London, all good. All good. Um, you, I'll, even, I'll even go as far as saying Ashanti, all good. All good. But when you start... Fucking with these hoes that's known for this, which is fucking niggas, you lame. Pure point blank. That says something about I don't give a fuck. You're lame. Because what what is lame? Uh Floyd Mayweather is lame. Um 
No matter how much money you have, no matter how talented you are, your mind is, I'm going to do what I'm told. I'm going to follow whatever trend is there. Give a fuck. Um, that, what, what a, that's a crazy, that's crazy, ain't it? Because he's a follower by doing, shut the fuck up. He's a follower even by doing what no one else is doing. Nobody's going to Gucci right now. You know, it's probably a sprinkle of niggas going. But no one is publicly, not no celebrity, is publicly going and fucking with Gucci. But Floyd did that. You're a follower even then. Because you're a follower because... The world tells you it's okay to fuck with Gucci. That's why you're a follower. But I'm saying that to say a lame nigga mindset is I'm just I'm just going I'm just going it look good. I'm just going. Fuck it. I'm just going because I've never had nothing. You know what I'm saying? I've never had nothing, so I'll take anything. You know, uh, you just want to fuck Black China because you know she said hey to you. You know what I'm saying? You have no class. Any bitch can just walk up and say, hey, and you'll fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to take a picture with her. You don't want to be seen with Black China because you know what that'll do to your career, but you don't know how to tell a bitch, no, nah, I ain't with that. I ain't with that. I ain't, I ain't with that. That's lame. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather. Like, you don't know how to tell these folks, I don't give a fuck how much you paying this about something else. And we can say the same thing about the Super Bowl, but we won't go there. Um, every nigga that Black China has dated since her inception into the game, which was, um, I say, um, Video Vixen, uh, Nicki Minaj shouted out, and then I, I think she played the double of, of in videos with Nicki Minaj and shit like that. But she was a stripper. But since her inception on the scene, she's done what the typical whore would do. Um, whore, by whore I mean prostitute. Um, I'm not going for niggas with integrity, niggas that stand straight up. I'm going for the hunchback, white boys, outcasts, and I can read them. As, as a veteran whore, I know how to read tricks. I've been in the street. This is I've always made. This is how I've I've survived off of reading tricks. I've this this is how I've made my living. Like it doesn't matter. I, I I'm going I'm, I'm I'm giving you what I have. I'm giving you what's in my mind. Um, there's a movie called Jack Reacher. And there's a scene in Jack Reacher where, um. Jack Reacher was explaining to his partner, uh, the woman, the lawyer he was working with, he said, what practice does is makes people who are not necessarily intelligent look intelligent by muscle memory. You know what I'm saying? If you shoot a gun enough, you know what I'm saying? Take it apart, put it back together. All you know how to do is shoot that gun. All you know how to do is weld. All you know how to do is make hamburgers. But... You don't know shit else about life. But when you get in that fucking kitchen, motherfuckers will swear that you're the smartest motherfucker on earth. When you get, you know what I'm saying, downrange, motherfuckers will think that you're the most intelligent person ever. So what that says is, yes, she can be the dumbest bitch, you know what I'm saying, uh, fingernails, reality TV, loving hip-hop. But when it comes down to reading lame niggas, the niggas that she knows will give her the money the fastest, She's untouchable. Look at the quality of niggas that she's picking. Not to say that she's not fucking with live niggas, but she's fucking them niggas for free. She's taking them niggas money. She going to the trap and buying niggas whole pounds and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But niggas like Soldier Boy, whatever, uh, what the fuck is the boy name? The white boy, uh, Rick Kardashian. I don't know what the fuck that white boy name is. Tiger, 
You know what I'm saying? Kid Boo. You know, it's it's just like it's just like she paints fucking bull's eyes on niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know that a nigga, if you didn't know, once Black China tested these motherfuckers, that's your confirmation that this motherfucker is lame as fuck. Because no nigga worth his salt. No celebrity. After I've made it, there's no fucking way that I'm going to be, I'm going to date a prostitute. Give a fuck. You can, I, I, it, it goes by many names. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why we have synonyms. A synonym for good is benevolent. You know what I'm saying? A synonym for bad is evil. A synonym for prostitute is IG model. Video vixen. You know what I'm saying? Hot girl. Dot. Black China. So that's what we that's that's what we have. Um so can we be surprised if we knew that um if we knew that Soldier Boy was lame, can we be surprised that, you know what I'm saying, this is the, the quality of bitch that he fucks with. Now, we must be surprised when we see niggas like Offset not only dating, getting pregnant, and marrying a fun girl, but also apologizing, begging for forgiveness. And when shit like that happened, what we know is there are things, there are wires. You know what I'm saying? It's something else. It's red tape there, which means like, I don't want you to take my whole life away from me with child support or alimony and shit like that. So please don't fuck my career. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, I think that's what that was. I'm going to give Offset the benefit of the doubt, but as DJ once again said, there should have been somebody else around in the camp that would have let him know, hey man, this a fun girl, fuck her, do drugs with her, ride around with her, Don't get too comfortable. There's a million of them. There's a million of them. But you get one wife. And you're in a position where you can, you around niggas who got baby mama. So you can, well, you already got baby mama. Like, so you already got baby mama. So you know what that is. As a real nigga, real street nigga, you should be able to, you know what I'm saying, see game no matter how it's dressed up. No matter how much money it has, you see what game is. You know what I'm saying? Money don't clean up a motherfucker resume. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Money don't clean no resume. And, but we get that confused so many times. Um, niggas will buy dope from a known police officer. When I say police officer, I mean a nigga who has got out of jail multiple times and we know that he's telling on people. But because he has the dope... I need the dope. Fuck that shit. I'm going it. You know what I'm saying? I'm spending my money with the rat nigga. Shout out to King Erna. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why, you know, root of all evil is money and shit like that. Because that's the great, um, it's a great camouflage. It's a, it's a perfect mask. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it disguises so much. Great barrier. What was that thing? It, it's it's like that thing that they had in Men in Black. That little thing that the uh, that Will Smith would hit with the red light. You know what I'm saying? Make motherfuckers forget. Instant fucking amnesia. That's what money is. Forget everything. No matter what fucking scandal you got going on, everyone will at least pretend for that moment they forgot it. If you have money, you can do anything when you have money. But as real niggas, we supposed to see through fake shit. You know what I'm saying? So that that. You cannot blame us for being confused when, quote unquote, real niggas, real street niggas fall for these type of, you know what I'm saying, situations. As real niggas, real street niggas, we can slip up, we can trip up and fuck up and, you know what I'm saying, get a bitch pregnant and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It can happen. And that's why we as real niggas, even real street niggas, have to get our mind and exercise, like my man said, T6, um... Exercise the three S's. Yo, flight tonight. Do it. So, can you give me three hundred dollars? Can you give me three hundred dollars? Broke ass. Broke ass. You talking about bitch? Throw this drink on your ass. Go there. Walk home. Go to In and Out Burger. Ain't you? Ain't you?
you finna go to in and out burger? Boy, I don't want you all, man. I don't want to no games. Man, hey, 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 man, hey, hey, man. Put that whole thing, she slick. You know, the Grammy weekend, somebody like going to a Grammy party. You ain't going to Grammy party off my flight. I don't give a f up or not. Oh, that's why you finna get something back tonight. Uh uh, you ain't got no chance to go pop out nowhere, bitch. Besides, like, oh, I could have paid, bitch. I could have paid. I could have paid for the show. You come out here. Like, I don't do no chance. You fucking fuck, what? What's he come through? You what? What's up? Uh, yeah. See, that, that's the difference. That's the difference. When you fucking with a... When you're fucking with the body. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I want to tell you something. All these hoes are on the same consciousness. They're of the same consciousness. Tyreek Nasheed says that the way that white supremacists view us is we're one big nigga. The way that you should view... Nothing ass bitches is their one big nothing ass bitch. They all think the same thing. They all look the same. You know what I'm saying? They're the same bitch. You know what I'm saying? You, you will notice by doing certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a nigga came in my inbox and told me that I should, um, I think it was very intelligent for him to say this. Um, you should start getting security questions for your family members. Uh, because of the message that you're speaking on and shit like that, and the way you're speaking on it, um, you should get security questions for your family because I believe in that cloning shit. That's what he said. I don't know if I believe in the cloning shit, but it's kind of like that. If you want to identify whether or not this bitch is the same bitch you had last week, the week before that, two years ago, all these bitches are the same bitch. Turn on Love and Hip Hop and turn on any reality TV show and see how much attention she gives it. Like y'all can be in a full-blown conversation and you just... You know, as soon as you hit the damn... As soon as you hit the channel, she right there with it. She's on point. She is... Yep, she's interactive with this shit. It, it's, that's where she's at. You know what I'm saying? And just use all kind of... You know, this this trigger words that nothing ass bitches, you know what I'm saying, will at a drop of a hat. You know what I'm saying? Gucci bag. You know what I'm saying? Acrylic fingernails. Uh, uh, front lace weave. New bag. You know what I'm saying? Like sh uh, seafood. You know what I'm saying? Tea. And watch how she reacts to it. Now, a bitch without... Uh, if she's not part of the nothing ass bitch consciousness... That won't phase her. She'll require more from you. You know, more than just, I can buy you a Chanel bag. I got the tea, acrylic fingernails. I can buy you a nose. You know and she'll require more from you. That won't, you know, like, my nigga, I'm trying to be it right here. Like, that's all you got to offer? Because a, a, a nothing ass bitch wants material things. A real woman requires knowledge. She wants you to give her something that she can eat on forever. That 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 purse gonna wear and tear. That car gonna run hot. That hair gonna fall off. A real woman wants knowledge from. She wants you to build her up. If you give her words that she can use for the rest of her life, a nigga can buy bags and, and all that. Man, she'll come to you if, like it just. Because I, I need you to move forward in life. I just need you to look good on Instagram. And if she's good with looking good on Instagram, that lets you know she's of the nothing ass bitch consciousness. I'm trying to tell you something. You see how Kodak Black advises, but the main thing is you see how he turned on his phone. I When I saw this video, it, it, it warmed my heart because it's like, these niggas ain't shouting me out and shit like that, but that's not why I came in this shit. As I when I came when I was young in this shit, that's all I wanted was recognition. But at this point in time, seeing how serious, serious, how serious the the nothing ass bitch consciousness and the Me Too movement and all, all this, you know, the bullshit we got going on. What I want to do is equipped 
young black men, at least the young black men, with something that will protect them from something that I, I was just, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I couldn't believe when I saw it, so I had to hit it face first. So when I saw him pull out that phone and go live, start recording just as soon and get, you saw how he got space from her. She was, he had to scream at her just to speak to her. He got space. He started recording. Ain't going to be no, we ain't going to have no misunderstandings here. You want to call the police? Handle your business. But this is what's going on. You want to go to the Grammy Awards? You're not going. You thought this was more than what it was. You a video vixen. You a IG thought. I wanted to fuck. I paid for my fuck. It's time to ride. You confused? You thought it was more than that. All you show on your Instagram is your ass titties. Ass titties. I, you're not on your Instagram showing, saying no motherfucking uh, 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 Mandela, Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? No, no uh, Einstein type shit. I see ass and titties. I want to fuck. How much the flight is? There you go. Here, get you something to eat. Get you something to, you know what I'm saying? Something to wear. Let's go, you know what I'm saying? One night, fly in, fly out. You knew what the fuck it was. It was a, it was a round trip. One day in, one day out. Ain't gonna take, like, what I'm finna do, ain't gonna take nothing but really five minutes. Depending on how many drugs I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Because he's still rocking with that type of shit. But it's like, it was still good to see that in your spare time, you seeing what the fuck a nigga trying to, you know what I'm saying, put down to you. And you took it in. You ate on it. So now as soon as the situation um, reveals itself, you know what to do. So as soon as you got into a situation with a bitch, you did exactly as I told you. And I can't do nothing but salute that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's little by little. I can't expect for you to, you know what I'm saying, practice all of the S's in, you know what I'm saying, in a couple of months, whatever like that. This is a lifelong, you know what I'm saying? It's a lifelong situation. But... As you're out there, you're protected, at least, you know what I'm saying, from that situation. Now, she can still call rape, but that shit can be slapped down because um, my mom sent me the, the story that now there's a judge in, I believe, um, fuck is this, Florida, that has arrested two females for... Judge labels teenage girls the aggressor in a sex case. Judge labels teenage girl the aggressor. Kansas City judge is under fire for saying two teenage girls were more an aggressor than a participant during the sentencing of a 67-year-old who solicited sex from girls on the internet. So, it's being seen that, hey, we're not just going by... What's going on? Now, this 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 sixty seven year old might have been white or whatever the fuck like that, but that gives us something to, you know what I'm saying? Just like this is how you know, um, Brown versus the state, Brown versus Florida. You know what I'm saying? These this this gives you a case background to plead your case in these situations. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we need. I thought it would be impossible for. This shit to go on and motherfuckers act like they don't. This is what we got to understand about court. The jurors, the judge, everybody, the the, the, the uh, bailiff, everybody in the courtroom. Somebody just said this. Um, Killer Mike said on Vlad, um, Vlad asked on why rappers aren't more into politics. And Killer Mike said they're people. Why ain't you into politics? You know what I'm saying? You're, you're a media platform. Why ain't you more into it? You know what I'm saying? Like, regular people don't want to do the work of politics. These fucking people, jurors, judges, everybody in the court system are regular fucking people. You see the They see the internet just like we do. They see what the fuck is going on. They live life before. And that's why I wonder, how the fuck can you put on this fucking gown and act like, I don't know what the fuck going on. It's impossible for a hoe to lie on a nigga. What the fuck? You know what you know this shit goes on. So I I, I never liked that shit. That that when they get in the courtroom it's like, oh no, I just gotta look at what's going on. No, my nigga, you can look at this shit. But nobody wants to stereotype and profile, and that's why I say I'm uh pro stereotyping and profiling. If it looks like this, nine times out of ten, it is that. And that's in that's in 
and because I believe in that, I can't say I it's okay to profile here but not there because that, that's just a slippery situation. Dog, I'm telling you. If you'll live the right way, profiling, it won't matter. It won't matter. Nigga, profile you in some places. You can be, you know what I'm saying, reprimanded for doing that. So if you get profiled in the wrong situation, you can take action if you don't fit the fucking stereotype. But if you fit it, then that motherfucker just did their fucking job. You understand? So I, I want I want for you IG models and and bitches that are of the nothing ass bitch consciousness to understand the walls are closing in. People like me are not going to allow you to continue to terrorize the black community. When we look at our shortcomings, a lot of times we can go right back. If we go to the real source, it will be right there where you're at. So, I think it's important to point out, you know what I'm saying? You lame as fuck if you, if you fuck with an industry hoe. That's, let's reveal a hoe come up off of six. Bernice Burgos has no fucking talent. She's fun to look at. Black China. We can go down the list. You're just fun to look at. You have no other fucking... You, there, there's no reason for me to give a fuck about you other than the way you look. And then as I... I, I, wanted, I hope that I had a chance to show y'all the video of this bald head bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, transformation. If you haven't seen it, it's going to be on my Instagram. This fat bald head hoe. And I thought that was so crazy because it's like... What my question was, so what happens?